Okay, this is Professor Thompson, and I'm going to do another example from 2.7. This is exercise 31. And so here, a ladder is sliding down a vertical wall again, and it's sliding down at a rate of 0.15 meters per second. At the moment when the bottom of the ladder is 3 meters from the wall, it slides away from the wall at a rate of 0.2 meters per second. And I want to know how long is the actual ladder. Okay, so given all of that, let's draw a picture. So here's the wall, here's the ladder. And I said it's going down the wall at a rate of 0.15 meters per second. So we're going to use a negative. So it's the rate of change of y is negative because we're going to call this distance y. And we're going to call this distance x like we did before. And the ladder's length, I don't know what it is, so I'm going to use L, but it is a constant, right? The ladder's not changing size. And they want to know when x is 3, or they tell you that when x is 3, dx dt is 0.2, and that's uh, increasing. So our equation is x squared plus y squared equals l squared. And what I need to do is I need to find y, because if I have x and y, then I can get l. So I do that by taking the derivative with respect to time, and I get 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt equals 0, because even though I don't know L, it's a constant number. So <coughs> they say that when x is 3, dx dt is 0.2. I don't know why, but dy dt is minus 0.15, and this all equals 0. So <clears throat> I can divide everything by 2, and then I get 0.6 minus 0.15y equals 0. So then y is minus 0.6 divided by minus 0.15, and that's four. Okay, so now that I've got four, and x is three and y is four, well, you plug that back into the Pythagorean theorem, and you might already recognize that then L is five. And in this case, it's meters, because everything else was in meters per second. So my answer is that the ladder is five meters long.